In a move aimed at bolstering Tunisia's maritime surveillance, the Italian authorities have handed over the first trio of patrol boats from a total of six vessels scheduled to be deployed. This initiative is a part of a formal agreement signed in December 2023 between the interior ministries of both nations. The Italian government has committed for 8 million euros towards the refurbishment and transfer of the these military ships. The transfer ceremony took place at the Marina di Gamert port with the Italian ambassador to Tunisia, Alexander Prunas, and top Tunisian officials in attendance. The agreement not only involves the supply of necessary equipment but also includes extensive training arrangements. The Italian Financial Police will support the Tunisian forces by assisting in crew training, fleet management, and improving the efficiency of the ships. This strengthened partnership is particularly significant against a backdrop earlier that year. Tunisia officially established its search and rescue zone, sir, a move eagerly anticipated by Italy. This initiative aims to better coordinate maritime rescue operations and manage migratory patterns. This collaboration brings forth intricate debates concerning the balance between border control and human rights while authorities from both countries emphasize the positive impact on maritime safety, advocates for migrant rights remain concerned about the effects of these policies on individuals in search of refuge. Tunisian political figures have made it clear that the nation will not act as a European Union's border guard however. The provision of security aid and associated financial support remains appealing to the current administration. The appeal is not solely about expanding the capabilities of Tunisia's security forces but also about the benefits of receiving security aid, which often come with other forms of financial aid Tunisia is in dire need of. While this cooperation underscores the externalization of the EU's border security efforts to North African countries, the provision of military equipment, training, and investment in Tunisia's security systems are expected to continue throughout the evolution of the migration crisis currently. Tensions with European and Tunisian NGOs have been largely managed, especially in Tunisia where there has been resistance from civil society activists despite the possibility of coordinated legal and Social action to disrupt Tunisia's growing security alliance with Italy, such measures seem unlikely to materialize in the immediate future. The Tunisian government is likely to continue its cooperation with the EU to control illegal migration flows in order to gain international recognition and financial aid meanwhile. The delivery of the patrol boats in 2014 marked the beginning of Italy's donation to Tunisia to aid in reducing the number of immigrants coming from North Africa.